morning everybody. How are you today? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this session, so we are very happy and uh, it is a very important day for us to start our spirit to learn uh, something. All right. Uh, in this session, I would like to tell you uh, several terms which deal with your subject, which deal with your department. Okay. The term is English, English proficiency, and English teaching and English learning. So, what makes this difference? Some of us might confuse. What is this about? Uh, okay, um, as we know that English is one of the global languages, one of the global languages in the world. Not only English, actually, uh, languages that we can find in this world, but also other languages like Indonesian, uh, Japanese, uh, Germany, Arabic, what else, Portuguese, etc. There are so many languages in the world, and one of them is English. And we know that English is one of the global language, uh, one of the intercultural means of communication, one of the international languages. Okay? Right. Now, uh, why we need to understand these terms, English, English proficiency, and the teaching and learning of this language? Because it is very important to understand what, why, and how. This subject de will deal with your uh, topics that you are going to study in the future. Okay? Because you are going uh, to be uh, the teacher. You are going to be a teacher. And this will support your uh, professional in the future. And not only as you become a teacher, but whoever you are going to be, you are going to be a lawyer, you are going to be architect, you are going to be uh, what else, uh, uh, accountant, you are going to be whatever profession you are going to be, that English is, will be a part of your life. You cannot stay away from this international language. Okay. Now let's have a look at several terms that deal with English. As we know that English is one of the world languages spoken by the majority of nationalities. Yeah, there are many nationalities in this world. Indonesian is one of them, Arabians, uh, Malaysians, Australians, Americans, British, Germany, etc. And as we know that those nationalities, okay, which use English as uh, a spoken language, uh, would use English as a spoken language for the international interaction. So that's why English proficiency becomes very important. Okay, what is it about? It is a certain level of ability to use English as a means of international communications. The ability includes listening skills, speaking skills, reading and writing skills. So when we are talking about English proficiency, it also deals with some kind of measurement to the ability. Okay, the uh, what level of uh, ability you have so depends on the measurement. So the measurement could be some kind of English test or English proficiency test that designed by the expert. Okay, now let's move on to uh, teaching and learning. So when we are talking about the English proficiency, it will deal with the teaching and learning of this language. Okay. What is, it, what is that teaching? Teaching is a procedure. And learning, on the other side, learning is a process. So there is two different things that you uh, need to understand, but those relate to each other. Teaching is a procedure to develop students' proficiency, English proficiency in this case. Okay? The, the procedure to develop the proficiency Include some other uh, components such as curriculum, materials, method, and strategies, including media and learning resource to use in the teaching process in the teaching procedure itself. Okay, on the other side, when we are talking about learning, it is a process, a process of what? A process to develop uh, students' potential of the English language to become competent. Remember, we have potential, and in the in the other session, I also this um, explained to you that everybody has been given a potential of all languages, including English here. So here is a process that we go through to develop the potential to become competence. 
The process includes motivation is there, learning strategies, roads of the learning, some, some, sometimes uh, mistakes and errors happens and some other things. So there's a very clear uh, distinction between teaching and learning. Well, teaching, we talk about the procedure, which includes some other components, curriculum, materials, methods, strategies, and media, while learning is a process to develop potential, which includes motivation, learning strategies, roles, etc. So that's about uh, several terms important in uh, dealing with English. Okay, uh, before we have talked about uh, the potential of all languages that all human beings uh, have, okay, uh, the language potential we have is very important for us to develop, to become competence, okay? The language is a part of uh, human's life. Language has been created by Allah and dedicated to us for the welfare of our life so that we can communicate using this language and then by the communication we have information and for the information we gain knowledge and by the knowledge we develop to understanding. Okay, and here we will not we will need some kind of media. Of course, the in the technology era we will need some technology based media to better understand the information. Then the potential we have to become process. Okay, um, the potential we have to become competent through a process in the set of learning. Okay, the process to build character, the process to build understanding. Okay. And the potential to become competence will also uh, go through procedures on the side of teaching. Okay, so that's what teachers doing uh, in the teaching and learning process. I think that's all. That's the most important thing that you keep in mind. Enjoy and keep studying.